if you're coming off of doing a fresh installation of Arch Linux, you'll probably be wondering, you know, where's my Bluetooth service, right? Uh, by default, it's not installed because, you know, Arch comes with the mindset of building everything sort of in a modular sense. Like, you take the pieces that you need, and not everyone probably needs Bluetooth, but it's, it's handy. You know, if you have, like, a PlayStation controller or something or some other type of wireless controller, it's really neat, you know? To connect it play some retro games and just have a good time you know being wireless right so to set up uh, Bluetooth it's very easy even when you don't have a full desktop environment like GNOME or KDE because when you're on those uh, desktops they will have an applet already there and you can just you know navigate through it but you can also do it through the command line which I'll show uh, in this video here so the first thing that we do is we install the uh, Bluetooth uh, packages and utilities for Bluetooth like this. So blues and blues utils. Then type our password. Maybe I typed it wrong. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's pretty small, both of them together. They just, you know, take 10 megs, right? So it's not a lot. So, just hit no because I already have it. Then we do a uh, sudo systemctl uh, enable Bluetooth. Oh, yeah, I misspelled that. And then a and, so we will and this uh, ctl start Bluetooth. So, what that command did is just it will enable the Bluetooth service at boot and then since we're going by the assumption that we just installed Bluetooth we're starting the service right now so that uh, we can use Bluetooth for, from this moment forward so now going into the actual Bluetooth device setup so to start the the, uh, the command line interface we do Bluetooth CTL uh, and here this is what you're greeted with it's just this Bluetooth prompt here and to to start this you first register the agent but it already did that for us so we now turn on the Bluetooth service well the module I guess and you'll see that the power state is now set to on so now we can start uh, seeing what's on the network so uh, well not network but what's what's being uh, what's alive that we can sense around us right so scan on and then we'll see, we'll start getting a bunch of different uh, Bluetooth devices here. And the device that I'm going to be pairing right now is actually a PS4 controller. So let me just put it into pairing mode. All right. So that's on. Let's scan again. Scan on. All right. So we can see that the con it's this wireless controller here. The new one so it's like uh, a something I think so if we do a pair well, let's disable the text because it's overwhelming uh, scan off so I think it was this one here a4 right so to pair it we just do pair and then um, that's a shortcut there uh, a um, a completion shortcut that you can do uh, if it finds multiple occurrences it'll print out uh, using the tab so you type the first letter and then you hit tab and then it'll try to auto complete it and if it finds multiple instances it'll uh, print out all the available instances and you can fill in the characters and then press tab again uh, and it'll com continue completing that uh, that auto complete let me just turn on my controller again to put it into pairing mode because it turned off all right so now we will do a pair uh, it's not available let's try again scan on okay so it found it again all right let's try all right attempting to pair so now it connected it might ask us for permission we hit yes and it is paired. So it, I'm using the trackpad on the uh, PS4 controller. 
And let's just go here to Dolphin uh, controllers. Let's see if it found it. There we go. So you can see that the wireless controller is there. Um, it's really simple, actually. The command line isn't too bad. It's just sometimes it's overwhelming, like when you see all this text. But overall, it's not bad. So to turn off this device, right? Um, actually, wait, I'll show you guys something else, too. You can close this window, and your Bluetooth will still work. You know, I'm still able to come here and see that it can detect. See, it's there, the wireless controller. Um, but uh, if you want to get back to that window, you just type Bluetooth CTL. Uh, I misspelled it. Okay, and it will... It shows us that this is the device connected here, and if we want to turn it off, right, we just do power off. So we can just turn off everything like that, and if we turn the controller back on, we would have to do a power on here, and it will ask us again for this permission, and like that, we get it back on. If you want to... Uh, remove you can remove uh, remove this device you can just type remove followed by the Mac address we see there it just cleared out that uh, Bluetooth controller that I had um, but let's repair it really quickly All right, so pair let's see I gotta scan again Let's see, it will ask us, yeah. All right, so we hit, yeah, so now we're paired again. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It's really, really easy, honestly. It's not too difficult to pair the controller. The only thing is just kind of getting used to seeing all the uh, output from the terminal and then finding your device. But besides that, it's pretty straightforward. It's not difficult at all. So that's about all. I hope that you found this useful.